Hi guys, today we are going to be taking a look at X Hover's brand new 2204 2300 KV motors. X Hover's been around for a while now and they're very easy to spot thanks to their great branding. Everything that I've seen from X Hover seems to ooze quality, so I've got great hopes for these motors. So let's have a look at some of the overall stats. These are rated for 3 to 4 cell, have an integrated 5mm threaded prop adapter. They are apparently perfectly balanced rotors. The stator has also been placed higher to avoid the screws from hitting the windings. They use Japanese ball bearings for performance and reliability. They are also lightweight and allow maximum airflow into the windings for cooling. They have a 3mm internal shaft for ultimate durability and is backed up by a 1 year limited warranty from the date of purchase. So looking closely at the motor you can see that this oozes x Hover's usual high quality branding and a look through the bottom shows that the stator is mounted well high out the way from any potential screw problems. And looking in through the top you can see that the windings are relatively neat. Pulling, pushing and twisting on the motor itself revealed no play. And it's nice to see some good quality silicone wiring, no stiff wires here. Also some integrated bullet connectors. XHOV is one company that really stands by their products and as you can see from these product test videos you can see that they really do put their products through their paces. I don't think I've seen any other manufacturer throwing their machines at solid metal structures so when I do get things from them I know I'm getting a quality product. And before we start the thrust tests let's just check on the weight. We're coming in at 29.5 grams with the prop nut and washer. As with all my tests, we're going to be using a Turnigy Nanotech 1300mAh 45-90C discharge battery. So the hover efficiency test on the Gemfan 5030s gave us 1.97 amps, 32.8 watts and a really good efficiency of 4.92 grams per watt. The full power test on a 5030 gave us 594 grams of thrust, 9.97 amps, 162 watts and a grams per watt efficiency of 3.66. Now we're going to switch over to the HQ5040, again with a brand new fresh battery. The 5040 hover test gave us 2.09 amps, that's plus 0.12. We were also up on our watts by plus 2 at 34.8, giving us a grams per watt efficiency of 4.31, which is a minus efficiency of 0.61. full power test gave us 634 grams of thrust, that's 40 more than the 5030s. We pulled 12.32 amps, that's plus 2.35. Our watts also went up by 36.4 to 198.4 watts. That gave us a grams per watt efficiency of 3.19, which is minus 0.47 efficiency over the 5030s. Now we're going to try the HQ5040 tri-blades. Our hover test gave us 1.88 amps, that's minus 0.21, so more efficient. Also, our watts were down by minus 3.5 to 31.3. This gave us a better grams per watt efficiency of 4.79 grams per watt. The 5040 Triprop pulled a massive 838 grams of thrust, that's 204 more grams thrust than a standard 5040 prop. And as you can imagine, all that extra oomph has really pulled up the amps up to 20.96, that's plus 8.64 over the standard 5040 prop. And it's the same situation with the watts pulling 331.5, that's plus 133.1 over the 5040 prop and we got a final efficiency grams per watt of 2.52. Now we move on to our final prop which is the DAL5045. Our hover test gave us 1.93 amps, that's actually a little bit more than the tripod by 0.05. 
the watts were also up to 32.2 that's plus 0.09 and our grams per watt efficiency was 4.64 that's minus 0.15 efficiency And finally, our dowel prop pulled in 716 grams of thrust, that's minus 122 over the HQ 5040 tri prop. Our amps were also down to 15.96, which is minus 5 amps. The wattage was also down by minus 76.8 to 254.7. That gave us a grand total 2.81 grams per watt, which is actually slightly more efficient than the tri prop but we were down that minus 122 grams. So there you have it, a massive 838 grams of thrust from this little motor, which isn't too shabby. So I think if you marry this motor up to Xhover's brand new element frame, then I think you're gonna end up with quite a little beast. So that's it for today's video, guys. I just wanna say a quick thank you to Xhover for sending out these motors. If you need any more information, there is links below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon. Yeah.